In this lesson, we'll go through two examples on how to relate k sub p and k sub c. We'll discuss what these terms are in a moment. The question reads, nitrogen monoxide, a pollutant in automobile exhaust, is oxidized to nitrogen dioxide in the atmosphere according to the equations shown here. We're expected to find the equilibrium constant related to the concentration. Now before we start, Kp is the equilibrium constant in terms of pressure, and Kc is the constant in terms of concentration. The way they are related is through this formula shown here. So let's take a look at what we've been given. We've been given the pressure constant, 2.2 times 10 to the power of 12 at 25 degrees Celsius. We can easily substitute that into where we see Kp. We know what R is, it's a gas constant, and that's shown right here. In addition, the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. That can take place of T, where of course we convert it to Kelvin. And to find delta N, we take the number of moles of the products, which in our case here is two. So the coefficient two minus, and I'll write down delta N is equal to two minus the number of coefficients here, two plus one is three. So two minus three is negative one. We have everything we need to calculate Kc. So I'll write down 2.2 .2 times 10 to the power of 12. That's for the left side of this equation is equal to what we're looking for times our gas constant 0 0.082057. And let's write down all the units. So we have liters times atmosphere per mole times Kelvin. The temperature T is 25 plus 273. That's the conversion and that gives us 298. And now all of this, all of this part, is being raised to delta N, which is negative one. To find K sub C, I will multiply all of this out, raise it to the power of negative one, then divide both sides by that number. So beginning with the left side, I can type in 2.2 .2 times 10 to the power of 12. We divide this now by the product of these two numbers, 0 0.082057, and I'm also going to place another set of parentheses. I'm gonna explain why in a second. Multiply that by 298, close the parentheses that I just opened up, raise it to the power of negative one, and close the other parentheses. This should give us Kc, and Kc is unitless we end up with 5.37 to two significant figures. This should be 5.4 times 10 to the power of 13. And Kc is unitless, as I mentioned. So you don't need to write down all this extra stuff here. In question number two, we're asked, consider the following reaction and the corresponding value of Kc. What is the value of Kp at this temperature? Let's do the exact same thing as before. This time we're looking for Kp. Kc is given as 6.2 times 10 to the power of two and we will multiply this by the gas constant of 0 0.082057. Multiply to 298, again, at 25 degrees. And we'll raise this to, we have two minus two. We'll raise it to a delta N of zero. Anything raised to the power of zero is one. So technically all of that is one, and Kp is the same as Kc. And there you have it. That is how to relate KP and KC.